Wow, guys, about to react to a new video. Matt Gates went on the view and it went completely left. See what I did there? I need you guys to stick along to the back end of the video. See what I got to say about it. But right now, I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe. If you're new, as always, let me know what to react to. About to get right to it. Florida Congressman Matt Gates has been one of the guys in the White House and one of the White House's strongest and most vocal supporters since day one. Please welcome a man who has obviously never watched The View, Congressman <laughs> Matt Gates. Hello, how I do you do know? Thanks for having me. How are you? Thank you. Did you, did you have I do watch. You guys make news every week. Every so day. It's, we it's are the big political show. I was just wondering if you were wearing black as a consequence of, like, the death of the political left in the debate last night. It was <laughs> quite something to observe. Uh, you know, don't count the, the dead yet, the bodies. <laughs> Let's give it a little time before we count. Well, Joe Biden, at least. I mean, I was hoping maybe Whoopi's bell could wake up the Biden campaign if you hit it. I thought he was actually, he helped, helped, didn't do any harm to himself last night. What state's he going to win? I mean, this is a man oh, who, uh, the uh, fundamental uh, premise of the Biden uh, campaign is that he's electable and he can't seem to win elections. So now you have socialist Bernie Sanders against billionaire Michael Bloomberg. Yeah. <laughs> well, the Republicans love a billionaire. They love money. So what are you talking about? Well, Michael Bloomberg used to be a Republican. It's yep. fascinating no, it was that a right Democrat now first. the Democratic Party is likely not going to nominate a Democrat. They're either going to nominate a socialist or someone who some time ago was a Republican. Well, let's, let's talk about None of them. I don't think any of them are going to beat the president. I think we have a raging economy right now. The American family is seeing revenue pour in as a consequence of higher wages, more you productivity, speech, more, more business you know, investment, Donald more capital coming from overseas into our nation. Donald Trump was a Democrat first. He was. He was. We, we've all sort of been politically square dancing for a while, and I think that we're in a time of real political realignment. In so our let, let's talk about your boss for a second, because yesterday... Oh, well, I don't, my boss are the people of Northwest Florida. Yeah, okay. So yesterday, Trump... Well, don't uh, dismiss them. It's the highest concentration yeah. of active duty military in the country and uh, I know Megan's yeah. dad served there so don't you can it tag me true. if you want but I'm don't not tag attacking my you I'm asking you a question okay. yesterday Trump announced he's appointing another loyalist of his Rick Grinnell mm -hmm. as his acting director of national Tel intelligence but Grinnell as you know has absolutely no intelligence experience and he's overseeing all 17 of our intel agencies uh, he stands between us and the next ISIS attack and you know, I don't know that it's a smart idea to put somebody who, who's inexperienced like that and is also a yes man in that position. He's, he's going to have to tell Trump things that he's not going to want to hear. You know how he doesn't like that. Trump doesn't like that. Well, actually, if you look at the team he's assembled with people like John Bolton, the president regularly surrounds himself with people who disagree with him. I think some of the most spirited discussions I've had have been, with, have been with uh, Lindsey Graham, <laughs> Rand Paul, myself, and the president discussing foreign policy, but on Rick Grinnell. Fifty years ago, a gay man or woman would not be able to serve in our intelligence community. There were teams of people Did that who went to find out if people were gay. Wait a second. And they would, well, just, we'll get into Grinnell's qualifications, but just for a moment, I would like to take a, a second to reflect on the fact that it is a good thing in this country that we do not ban gay people from being able to patriotically serve in the intelligence just community. Just transgendered people. Well, we shouldn't be banning anybody based on who they are and who they are. Well, let's that's, that. that's not the kind of Republican I am, but it's not the kind of Republican the president is. So, on Rick's qualifications, <laughs> Eight years at the UN, two years uh, in Germany. Yeah. He advised the Security Council, and Berlin, where he was active, is one of the hotbeds of intelligence activity. Nothing happens there without the chief of station Most and of the, the ambassador working together. So Rick Grinnell is very qualified. So I you're think saying it is he's a qualified? Point. Okay, so yeah, that's my okay. argument. The, Germany, by the way, I was reading about him. They think he's very thin-skinned, but that's another story. Well, I mean, this is the view, aren't we all? <laughs> I have no. another question for you. No, uh, not. I actually, and you know what? And um, I think we. You, you yeah, it is just. I, I think we agree on this. Um, the pre uh, about pardon power. Now the president has been on a, a, a pardon spree, and many think he's about to pardon Roger Stone, his longtime friend and, and one-time campaign advisor, um, who's being sentenced. I think any minute now. They're in a break for uh, crimes of obstructing justice, witness tampering, lying to Congress. Do you think Trump should pardon Roger Stone? I do, and I think that oh, it requires on, a review of the pardon power. Come on, come on! Barack He's Obama pardoned over 1,700 people. But Bill Clinton people pardoned 459 know, people. Those were people Bill he didn't Clinton know. pardoned 16 people who were a member of a Puerto Rican terrorist organization that planned murders at the Bronx Tavern here in the United States of America. Perhaps that wasn't the right thing. 
we do. When we designed our Constitution, there were vestiges of the British monarchy that Americans still had some reverence for. And one was the notion that the executive, that the sovereign, could extend unlimited grace Did you just for say any the reason sovereign? Oh my God. Or, uh, no reason but at all. Yeah, that the was king? an element of the, oh, I'm of sorry, the I British I misunderstood the British I misunderstood system what you that I was, I was saying was borrowed. No, no, I understand. Okay. I, sounds I, like what, what I was getting at is can we agree that perhaps that pardon power needs to be reviewed and curbed? So, great question. In Federalist 74, Alexander Hamilton writes that the reason we have the pardon power is to serve as a check on a criminal justice system, which, if allowed to run wild, could create a great sense of sanguinity mm -hmm. in our country. And so I think that if you look at the original intent of the pardon power, right. it cannot be limited. And again, but Trump has pardoned 26 his... people, Obama pardoned over 1,700, so, Bill Clinton pardoned so, 459. So, so did you, okay. the answer to the question is what? I would, I would agree that you Roger Stone that... should be pardoned. Okay. If for no other reason okay. that there has been a double standard in this country where people like mm -hmm. Peter Strzok, Lisa Page, Andrew okay, McCabe, Clapper, Brennan, have not faced consequences. Yes, can, can I just ask you, how about Rob Blagojevich, who flees like a children's hospital. Was that a good part? I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't know very much about uh, the, no. the governor of Illinois. No. Uh, I'm not going to get into that one. I, I know Roger. Yeah. I don't know Blago, and I'll leave that to others. Uh, to well, uh, Congressman, I, I understand that um, Republicans coming on the view, this is a great culture war place to come and like show the leftists what's going on. I get it. My husband works in conservative media. I'm a hardcore conservative. The thing I don't understand, because I'm, I'm not a Trumper, I think that everyone knows that very clear. Policy-wise, he's been great on many things, many things that are very important to me, life, military, the economy, but his character issues are still what holds me and so many, especially, I think, conservative women back from going full throttle with him. And I think you're going to have a problem specifically with college-educated women coming in to the next election cycle. What would you say to women like me who still hold back on the grab him in the blank, attacking war heroes, attacking the Gold Star families, things like that Cheating that just on his wife, hold us back? Stars. An un... <laughs> An un well, look, if, if cheating on your wife is a disqualification to be president, then you all probably should have impeached, impeached Bill Clinton and they supported did. that. Well, and, but, they but, did. but, but not, not, with, not with all of you waving any pom-poms. I'm so sorry, I, I don't know I what that, that means. To, to Megan's sorry. question, I want to directly answer <laughs> Megan's please, question. Yeah, please. Okay. Okay. Donald Trump has a unique ability to get people <laughs> who don't necessarily agree with him <laughs> to vote for him. And so I think for women, we're going to have to make the argument particularly that 72% of the new jobs created in this economy have been filled by women, that a lot of women are concerned about the revenue in their family and whether it's going to support careers and opportunity for themselves, their, their partners, their children. And with 7 million new jobs being created, people coming off of welfare, America is in a sense of great renewable. renewal. We've got a comeback president running against the throwback left and the Venezuela oh, wing of the Democratic Party the taking Venezuela over with Bernie ring. Sanders. Oh, come on, the Venezuela Go ring. listen to Bernie Sanders. Wow, you guys, Matt Gates had nothing but facts. Whenever they try to shut him down, he made sure he got his point across we understood everything even have facts about jobs opening up for women and they try to change the narrative wherever they want it to go just so they can control it and push their leftist agenda i don't know why people go on this show week after week and they know nothing's gonna come good of it this show is one of the top 10 reasons america's going down the drain along with biden let me know what you guys think about the video be sure to like comment subscribe if you're new and as always you know three act two we're out